Welcome to Property Care. Today we are going to discuss about uh, remote owners, those who are in abroad, US, UK, and how do they do let out and what are all the mistakes they do. So I picked up the top 10 mistakes. So I'm going to list one by one and explaining these mistakes, how can be avoided. So this is the topic today. I do property management business. I do last 10 years. So I've seen a lot of owners who do rent out from remote locations. Many of them struggled. I helped them wherever possible. They took my services and I served them for 10 years. So their flat is with me and I do uh, property management service for their flat. So end-to-end -end service. We don't do just to give the tenant and go away. It's not like that. Once we take the property, so till they come back, maybe five years, eight years, 10 years, after they come back, we hand over the property. So till the time, for example, five years. So in five years, five tenants will come and go. So how do they do sitting in abroad? So that is the area which we are going to help them uh, to the owners. So mainly the problem addressing area for five years, whatever property related issues, we attend on behalf of owners. So whatever owner does it, we will do for them so that their life will be peaceful and they concentrate on their work. That is the idea behind uh, this concept of property management, mainly for uh, remote owners. So that is the video today. So there are owners who are renting out their property, you know, without taking any help from any of the property managers. So it is very difficult. So what are all the mistakes they are making? That is the point I'm discussing in the video. I took, uh, you know, for the discussions, uh, villa and flat. So majority of uh, customers who go to abroad are, uh, you know, calling the owner of villa or flat. Majority of the owners, uh, they are the person who wanted to rent out their property in Bangalore. So what are all the 10 mistakes? I picked up the top 10 mistakes made by the remote owners. So here the rental range, I'm taking from 15,000 to 5 lakhs. There are some villas uh, going up to 3 to 4 lakhs, 5 lakhs. So it's a costly, uh, you know, villas, luxury villas, ultra luxury villas. So just I took the range of between by 15,000 to 5 lakh is the rent range. And uh, mostly on the residential property is what I'm discussing. Suppose if you have a commercial, industrial and agriculture, you need to uh, take professional help. Don't try to do letting out by yourself. So this has to be handled by the professional uh, property managers and property consultants. Because say if your example, if it is a commercial renewal, they make three years plus three years plus three years. So it is not going to happen for like a villa or flat rentals every year. There will be an increment and the renewal. It is not like that. They make it for three years and every three years it will be renewed. So that is the point is slightly deviated from the uh, residential topic. So commercial is a different uh, and industrial also slightly different. So those who has an industrial property consult with a proper professional consultant to rent out your property. And that uh, target audience here is our uh, property investors, owners, tenants, NRI, OCAs. So majority of my customers are uh, remote owners. So for them, uh, you know, those who have a property here, I want to help them to address their problem. The disclaimer is the idea shared this in this slide for information and education purpose only. You also need to understand lightly this concept, try to do some homework, get the better understanding. Property manager also, like you should not just see it and take it. See, give them for one year, you know, how you are comfortable, you know, frequency matching, then you can extend services. So that's how uh, you also should uh, shortlist the property managers. These are all the, uh, you know, four main categories I split for any property life cycle. The first one is that we invest into the property, then renting the property. Third one is management and fourth one is slave, selling the property. So we come into this uh, cyclic loop for every property. So I picked up an investment is the first category and I put series of videos, uh, you know, Lot of information I captured, for example, North Bangalore Development, PIPA, the Planning Authority, so KHB, Investment Club, uh, REIT, uh, Crowdfunding. So, a lot of topics I discussed. You please watch this uh, property investment playlist in my uh, YouTube video. 
to understand a lot of information. So the second on the property value chain is the rent. So I put the local owners, what are all they make? They make 10 mistakes when they rent out the property. So I captured it, uh, you know, in a separate video. I put that uh, already in my playlist, which is uh, property rental playlist. This week, I'm going to discuss about remote owners, 10 rental mistakes. So this is the topic I'm going to discuss. So I took a sample scenario, which uh, majority of the owners, you know, I to resonate with their, uh, uh, you know, requirements or a problem or a, a renting out scenario. So I just took a sample scenario here, uh, Sanjay, you know, living in 2BHK flat in Springfield apartment on Osu Road, Bangalore, uh, you know, due to his urgent travel. So requirement from our office, he has to travel urgently. So within a week, he has to travel. So that is a requirement from office. So within this short period, he is not able to rent out his property. So he 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 has to leave to Australia and he left it with the property, uh, you know, locked. So in short time, he is not able to rent out. So this is the sample scenario. So this is uh, why I picked up this is because uh, many of them are resonate with uh, this kind of a requirement. So that is the idea behind uh, this, so what mistakes he is doing it. So what are I, I'm discussing one by one. So the first mistake, what he is doing is handing over the flat key to his neighbor. So since he has to travel abroad and uh, see no one is there, his relatives all are in a different place and different native place. So he is taking help from neighbor and he's handing over the key to the neighbor and traveling abroad. So every tenant to visit, he is taking the help from the tenant and it costs an inconvenience. They also have valuable weekend. They don't want to, you know, engage in showing this property to each of the tenant visits. Some property you may get uh, two, three visits, you may be able to convert. Some property 10 times, 20 times you have to show to get convert. So how do you take and expect a help from a neighbor every time? And uh, he is in a remote location. He is coordinating with the tenant, the time slot, what time he has to visit to, uh, you know, to see the property. Suppose if he is in Australia, uh, so his time is a different time zone. So he has to fix up time on Indian standard time. Suppose if, if Indian tenant who wants to visit by 8 o'clock, so his day is almost around 12, 1 o'clock midnight. So how do he coordinate this? So this is a challenge. So and asking friends to show uh, to finalize tenant. Sometimes uh, he takes help from the tenant friends also to show the property. So finally he finalized a tenant called Rohit is a family tenant. He decided to go with uh, this tenant. Next that when the tenant moving the flat is not ready. So the lot of fixes has to be done. Because in Hari, the Sanjay left already to Australia. So he has, he don't have time. So now he is delegating that fixes to new tenant, which is the Rohit. And he passed all the fixes to the new tenant. And agreement also, tenant makes it. And uh, and he, I mean, uh, Sanjay told to Rohit that you whatever expenses, I'll take care. You direct from the deposit. So this also another scenario. So I am seeing it from many owners and uh, the vendor, whoever involved in the flat fixes, there is no supervision is made. So vendor making it, giving the key to security. In this process, the uh, Sanjay landed up paying more cost to vendor because, uh, you know, new tenant not negotiated better price. So, and he landed up paying more uh, charges to the vendor. And, uh, and when they, after all the work, when the tenant move in, there is a proper formalities has to be done with the society. Society also need to know who is moving in and what is his other idea, uh, you know, all the details, family tenant details. So because that is safety issue to the society. So that's why this Rohit has to give all the tenant details to society and it should get a clearance from the society. And some societies owner need to mail it to society. So they 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 want an email from owner that so and so flat, you know, so and so new tenant moving in. Kindly allow him to move in the property. 
So this kind of requirement, the tenant and owner should coordinate, get the mail. So in this case, the Rohit has, uh, don't know about that and he come to the gate and with the vehicle. And the society is not allowing him to moving into the property because moving formality has not done. And the owner mail has not come to society manager. Okay. So they stopped him. So now, uh, you know, he has to wait with the vehicle and call the owner, ask him to send an email to society and verify it. There is a moving formality charges has to be paid. So he has to do all these things to move in. Then only he can move in. So these things were not done and it took time and uh, to understand these requirements. And finally, he able to uh, make those payments, move in formalities and able to move in into the society with a lot of difficulties. And since, uh, you know, in this case, uh, he gave lower rent also because he was already in abroad. He can't spend the key coordinate with so many tenants. So he is okay to go with a little lesser rent, 3K rent. In this case, he has given below the market rent so that that is ended up uh, 3,000 loss for every month to the owner. Sometimes, uh, you know, I have seen owners who are overpriced. So they go beyond the market rent, that resulting in a vacant flat. Many tenants will come, they don't agree the negotiations. So in such case, the plant will be vacant. So, so that you should always look for a market rent, try to match the market rent. Even you look for some good kind of a profile who will pay the rent regularly. And even if it is little lesser, 500 or 1000 is okay, but retain the good tenant so that you don't face the problem of maintaining the property, coordinating with them. Little difficulty can be reduced. So you should not be very perfect. If a tenant is good, you should be okay to compromise a little rent. And he ignored the background check also. The Rohit uh, background check is ignored and he don't know about uh, his uh, profile, what he does it, not clear understanding about uh, what is his job, whether he can able to pay rent regularly. And he's, he had some issue with the startup company uh, salary. And so every time he has to uh, pay rent late. So it is an irregular. Dates were not uh, on the every month before 5th. So he used to pay 15, 20. So that is also caused some inconvenience to owner and the maintenance to society. He is supposed to pay to the society that also got delayed. So every time owner gets the reminder and uh, he has to follow up the uh, tenant to pay these uh, bills. And he never visited to any inspection to the property. Since he is abroad and he is not least bothered about visiting the flat and uh, you see he is comfortable any issues in the flat. So he didn't do any inspection. And uh, one day he came and saw a lot of sea pages, uh, you know, which is the bathroom grouting is not done on time. Because of that water seeped into the bedroom walls and that caused some sea page issues and bedroom walls are wet. And since Sanjay is in abroad and he forgot to renew his uh, you know, agreement also. So every 11 months in Bangalore has to be renewed to the next 11 months with appropriate hike on that location. So in this case, he, he also don't know, he forgot to track this expiry date. So he continued to pay the old rent even after expiring the settle agreement. So because of that, he again got into the loss of new renewed rent amount. Suppose even if it is 7.5% or 10%. So he he is not, uh, you know, informed tenant to pay extra rent, which is the renewed rent after expiring the 11th. And fixes are delayed and one suddenly, you know, one day, you know, tenant calling to owner saying there's some bathroom leak. The upper floor has uh, some uh, seepage issues that water dripping inside the his bathroom. Since the leak is there and he is struggling to find the right vendor to fix that and that took some time and uh, negotiation also was not able to do and the price higher he paid it and some language issues he faced with the vendor. So there is an issue there also he faced it. After this 20 months of stay and Rohit found that a uh, lot of inconvenience and issues, all he has to fix it. No help is rightly right time available. So he found uh, that, you know, 
this flat will not suit for me. So he put a notice after 20 months and he's trying to find another property and he found the property also. So he is giving a notice to the owner. So now owner publishing the ad again on the online portal, trying to find another property from sitting in Australia. So he's, uh, he's continuing the tenant search. And again, the same way, like coordinating with the neighbor or a friends. So, so that is the current situation of the owner. So, and when he move out, there are some conflict between owner and tenant also saying that owner saying you are not uh, maintain the property because then another friend has inspected the property and he reported issues to the owner. So based on that photo video, and uh, owner is uh, had some misunderstanding between tenant and owner on the deposit settlement and deductions. So owner says uh, you you are not taken care, and tenant says no, I have taken care. I faced fixes this that and some conflict. So finally he settled some amount, and with it some dissatisfaction and some misunderstanding. And because of uh, this coordination on site uh, offshore time differences. So the next tenant, uh, you know, finalizing the next tenant also delayed. Now the flat is vacant, you know, for somebody need help to fix those issues like seepages and so that the next tenant can see the property and move in. So who will do these things? That's also another challenge he is facing. So he is trying to find the tenant now. So by looking at all these issues, uh, if I would have been there, I'll appoint a proper uh, property manager who takes care of my property requirements so that uh, he can do his job at remote location without any hassles. So he failed to engage a property manager and he should be, would have been given, he can easily manage these things uh, you know, from remote locations. And he just need to receive the rent on time, his job is done. So all the work he could have delegated to a property manager in near to this apartment so that his job will be easy. So I'm not saying every property manager also good. You should give some, uh, uh, you know, some due diligence properly, talk to some references and give them up a one year. You see the comfort, comfortness and once you are comfortable, you can renew it to the next year. So you should be, you know, doing proper due diligence and delegate to them. So this is what we do our core services as a property managers. We do across the worldwide, many customers we have and we can share references. If you want to know about our services, they will talk about me instead of me talking about me. So I hope this gives some basic idea about the property management and how it is important to an apartment when you want to rent out a flat in an apartment. So I hope this gives some clear idea. If you have any doubts or if you need any help on this perspective, uh, the uh, last slide I have uh, my contact number. So you can connect with us. We can give you more ideas and share more details so that your problem is addressed. So this is our vision, mission, what we do and our values, property management services. And on top of that, we do buy, sell, rent also. We have a plan, plan of uh, franchising this uh, successful model, which we are currently running in South Bangalore. And for that, there is some sauce based product development also. We are doing it. We will do this as early as possible. This is our service catalog. What we do it gives some high level understanding. More details on this, we can discuss and uh, uh, you know, we can make help you to understand better. This is a book I'm writing mainly for traveling guys who are NRIs, OCI, and they want to invest here in India. So for them, I'm addressing their problems, uh, you know, in this book. We'll be releasing this soon. So thank you for watching. I hope this gives some good understanding about rental in from a remote location. So if you have any queries, any, any help with respect to this, you please ping us to this number. Uh, we will help you uh, to solve your problems. So if you like this video, please give thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell icon for future videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.